so this is a section just on crossing and how we cross. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of examples here at the start uh, showing say, some top level teams from Norway and obviously Portugal versus Sweden uh, about how to cross and the speed that we're looking for. And then we're going to give some examples of this uh, throughout. You'll see, the, you'll see the clip uh, and then you'll see the clip repeated and then you'll see um, well, obviously my voiceover and arrows and stuff on it as well. All right. So these are what the examples of what we're looking at. So first of all, excellent excellent change in speed and also using the screen to go between the two threes around and across however now this is exactly what i'm talking about about backs coming too early this guy out out the left back should stay wide 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 and if he stays wide he can break clearly between one or two because the cross on the other side was so good and so quick So this is quite a good cross, really good one-on-one, -on -one, into the space, nice good drive, and Alex Trent coming around behind Joe Samuel. So if we can cross here, this is perfect. Now the reason is, because Rowan is on the far side between uh, two and three, which has split their two threes in defence. So Rowan's got two people marking him, and this leaves a really big gap in the middle for Alex Trent to come around on the cross. So Joe, if you can get that ball away, the speed into the cross is fantastic, and you've attacked the gap which has drawn the players towards you. So, and hopefully we're all aware that this is terrible defending. We should never, ever be splitting the middle of our defence, particularly when they're playing 6-0. So this is good, um, slowed the game down, seen they've got organised defence, and then we begin to play. Um, it takes a while to organise what we're doing, but fair enough. Uh, wing left, wing right, uh, and then centre left. But, so a lot of passes to get it going, but we start, very nice. And this is the key part here, the timing onto the ball. So what we need to recognise here is that as... Samuel's come to, to the cross with Trent. Joe, it'd be great to see you come across the defence and come all the way around, try and get past Charlie. Obviously, Charlie knows what's happening. He's seen it coming and he's jumped out early. So in this scenario, you could play the ball directly back to uh, Samuel or let's look to move the ball across. Obviously, if you look outside here, Alex Trent is free in between uh, one and two and the right wing's free as well. So Again, don't always cut back on this cross, Joe. I think it's a habit that you have where you like to come back and step off your right foot. You're very good at it. Uh, but let's look to play the ball across and, uh, and keep playing in between one and two on the far side. Keep the ball moving. This is a great bit of play uh, and just perfect example of crossing and then pass the ball onto the side. Fraser runs in, runs out, continue to play. Brilliant cross, comes nice and late. Excellent. Um, well done, Noah. And then on this one and the pass the other side, absolutely fantastic, beautiful pass. Uh, one thing to be aware of is maybe just wait a little bit longer before breaking in. Obviously, Tom's a little bit closer and had to check his run. A little bit delayed and then run onto the ball, clean break between one and two. Excellent play. So this is really nice, excellent. What's really good about this is the pause and then the acceleration onto the ball. Uh, Joe, you can be even more aggressive with your transition into uh, into the into the line. So as Rowan comes up the screen there, you can go even more towards the goal and really drive in. That was excellent. So 
got to be faster, Joe Trent. You've got to be faster, faster, faster. Can we do this without a bounce? And this space, this massive space between the 5-1 defence, the number one and the, the five, that gap you've got to run into directly. Uh, Tom Saunders breaks through really well onto it, but you've got to, you can't be scared of breaking into that gap yourself and running onto the ball directly. 